Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 16 of our Flutter tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about JSON downloading and JSON parsing in Flutter. So let's start. I have this uh, empty project open and uh, I will create a stateless widget in this. Now, first I will create here the run app method and in this run app method I will create a material material app and then I will click enter and put a semicolon here now outside this curly brace I will type st less stateless now it will create a stateless widget. Now I will give the uh, class name as JSON demo. And now I will call this JSON demo uh, class here as a home in this material app. Now we will override another method called init. In its state, but before calling in its state, we will make this uh, stateless widget as stateful widget. Now, here down, I will call the init state uh, method or write it. Now, we will create a new method here. At at the top, get JSON data and this type will be wide, which means it will return nothing and we will make this async. So it will asynchronously download JSON data for us. Now I need a library called HTTP that is uh, available in uh, uh, Flutter. So the latest version of HTTP is uh, this uh, 0 0.12.2 and I will copy it from here. Copy the text from here or you can copy it from uh, here directly and then put that uh, colon in the and I will come to this uh, pubspec.yml file and here down in this dependencies section I'll find the dependencies section This is the dependency section, this one, and I will paste it here. Control V this, and now we have the latest version, uh, 0.2.1.2, uh, so I will change it to 0.12.2, and uh, I will get this to download the dependencies. Now it is uh, showing us an error because this is not in same line with this. That is why it is showing this error. Now if I propagate it, it will successfully download this uh, dependency. Now the dependency is successfully set up. So I will go to main.dart file and uh, I will go to the top and import. package http dot dot and now I'll come to this uh, git json and I will go here and response response equal to git and here I will pass the URL from which I will download the json so I'll come here and I will type here 
json placeholder i'll paste this uh, url in the uh, description of the video if you want to uh, test it now i will download this user data now i will copy this api and now i'll come here and control v it here now i'll put it inside single quotes or double quotes whatever you want and now it will start showing an error because we have not used private keyword before this get now when it download the JSON data, it will be available inside this response. So we will print response dot body, and you will see in the console that if it is printing anything. Now we'll come to this uh, um, this init state method, and I will call get json data method here semicolon now everything is set up let's run the application and let's see if it is working now we'll run this now if we look to the console it has unloaded the data the json data and it has printed it in the console we can see it here now i will go to the browser and if we look at this json the first element of uh, this uh, json is the json array which is a square bracket a square bracket represent a json array so i'll come to this and i will go to this uh, get data method and now we will change uh, this uh, uh, JSON data. Now, first I need a, an import that will convert this JSON data for me. Dot convert. Now, I'll come here to get JSON. And now, in Flutter, a JSON is, array is considered as list. So, I'll call list data because the first element is a JSON array. If it was a JSON object, then we would use a map because in a JSON ob object is represented by a map in Flutter and in array by list. So, I will JSON decode and response dot body so it will automatically decode this uh, json uh, data uh, into a list now then if we look at this json we have multiple json object inside this json array so I can get it by using uh, for loop uh, because in this array we have 10 uh, JSON objects, different JSON object. So by for loop, I will get all of these JSON objects. So I'll come here and use data dot for each loop, I will use for now I'll click enter and use a semicolon here and now I'll come here and make this map uh, obj is equal to uh, element. Now every element is a JSON object so we assign map to it. Now I will get each string from this obj. So 
sorry. I'll use strain is equal to OBJ and square brackets and now a single quotes I will use uh, consider I want to get this name so I'll name and here I will put semicolon and now I have I have not given a name to, to it so I'll give it name and now I will print it here and we will see that if we are getting this name semicolon and now I will run the application on the device now you can see that is it has uh, uh, loaded the names and printed in, uh, in the console all 10 names now if I go to this JSON and look at it uh, this address I can uh, retrieve this username email and this ID by the same method but this uh, address is a JSON object again so how can I retrieve uh, it and uh, then get the data inside it so I'll go to uh, Android Studio I'll remove this and now I will say map address is equal to obj and then square brackets and then address semicolon and now I will get uh, a string value from this uh, address string now what I want to get from this uh, street consider I want to get the street uh, so I will basically all double each is equal to uh, address square brackets and street and now put semicolon and let's run the application or to start it now we have made one mistake that we have not printed the street so I'll print street and uh, semicolon and now I will auto start it again now you can see that the streets uh, are also retrieved if you look at this uh, and you uh, subscribe street colors light and uh, here and the second still is vector plans and now if I come to the Android Studio so you can see the street uh, are retrieved now if we look at the JSON here we have this geo another um, JSON object so which can be represented by uh, uh, by map so I will come to this and let's retrieve, retrieve this as well so this is in the address so map uh, geo is equal to address and now square brackets and inside this I will use geo and now for semicolon semicolon and now I will uh, let's see what type uh, so it is string so uh, string let is equal to geo and then I will retrieve let semicolon semicolon and now I will print 
uh, lead, semicolon, and now let's run this. How to start this? Now you can see that the latitude of every user is uh, printed. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video and this way you can uh, uh, pass complex JSONs in Flutter. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel as well as like and comment. Uh, because I need your love and support to grow this channel. Thank you.